Make sure to check out the end of this video where I'll show you, uh, give you a little refresher course on how to separate out the different layers of the label so that they will be easy to customize. And I also have another tutorial that's already in the video list that shows you how to make logo masters so that you can use them over and over again on your different items. Hello and welcome back to Harriet's Custom Computer Art Plus. If this is your first time, thank you for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button um, if you like the projects that I'm doing. Also feel free to uh, make comments, suggest things you might like to see or things you'd like to learn how to do and in the comments section and I uh, try my best to get to everyone as soon as possible and answer your questions or help you out in any way that I can. Before I get started, I hope that everyone is doing well and following all the precautions that have been set up uh, for, by the specialist uh, using uh, the general precautions, constantly washing your hand for 20 seconds uh, as often as possible um, also making sure that you are socially distancing yourself uh, from others who uh, may possibly be infected with the coronavirus um, if you have to be out in the public try to stay at least six feet away from uh, others if you have to go out shopping or something like that just stay safe. Uh, so let's get started. Today I'm going to be uh, doing hopefully a short video just to show you how I quickly make um, some of the templates that I use. Um, a lot of them are available just by googling some of the other templates but if you see an item that you uh, like and want to add to to your uh, business or add to your list of, of party supplies or treats um, there's an easy way depending on what shape the um, item is there's an easy way that I I use to get them into my computer and upload them into Microsoft picture it I, I guess now I'm seeming to get more uh, parties geared for older people and they um, like things like the gum and sanitizer is good for any age group especially now and this this is the uh, gum wrapper and this is a tic tac wrapper this one happens to be for the tic tac gum but it's easy to also do with the um, regular tic tac label and all I did for the sanitizer and you can do this with with um, quite a few items depending on um, the shape these have flattened surfaces so it makes it easy to do if you can't find the template for a certain labels that you're trying to make uh, all I did was uh, I put this on my my cutting mat which has the um, the ruler uh, markings on it and I just put my telephone my telephone camera I held it directly above it so that it would not have any type of distortion and I just snapped a picture of it and then I uploaded that picture or just sent that picture that picture to myself so that I could upload it into uh, Microsoft picture it so that I could remake the label and this one I made with the beach theme based on uh, this set that you've probably seen if you've been to my page the shell purse or shell um, bag treat bag and um, I'm actually going to be putting out the template for this for anybody who's interested in in making this one or making uh, changing it to make it into your own for your own theme but it's really uh, easy to make templates like this for this one I literally just carefully peeled the label off of the Tic Tac um, container and then laid it on a regular piece of white paper 
and the glue of course it was still sticky on the back so I just um, pressed it on the regular 8.5 by 11 paper and then once again took a picture of it if you want to scan it you can scan it but like something like this it's not going to be as easy to um, get it on your scanner and, and get a good scan of it so just use your camera the the camera on your phone and just stand directly above the item have it low enough where you can be directly above it and just snap a picture of it and then bring that into your um, into Microsoft picture it upload it or copy it and paste it from uh, if you email it to yourself I usually use Microsoft mess I'm not Microsoft I use Facebook messenger to send myself a lot of uh, pictures so that I can open them on any device and then I just quickly upload it into um, Microsoft picture it for this one I literally just uh, measured the little gum package these are the little gums that come I think it comes like five in a package at the dollar store um, it's the winter fresh gum they all it's also the same size as juicy fruit and I think they have one that's a bubble gum flavor as well you can get the small bags of set of uh, bag sets of these at the dollar store for I think I bought them for like five in a little package for a um, dollar and then if you want to make a whole bunch like I made when I made the this one for an engagement party uh, you can go to smart and finals and you can get the packs of 25 and I forgot the price but they weren't very expensive so um, and on for this one I just took my ruler and measured each side of the little gum wrapper and it's easy to do with you know any any ruler that that you can clearly see the the clear ones uh, with the black markings work really well that's the one I usually use but all I did was measure the sides and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna group the the sanitizer back so that I can show you the layers in the gum wrapper so I'm gonna ungroup it and you see all the layers so I have every every part separate this is the front of course these are the sides and both of these make up the back and your, your glue is going to be going right down uh, this edge and then gluing the back together and I'll show you how to do that later on when I'm actually assembling them I am also in the process of setting up a page for that's called Harriet's Custom Computer Art Plus templates and more. It's going to be a private group, and in that group, I'm going to um, have it available for anybody to share uh, things that maybe they saw uh, in my videos or and made their version of it. Or if you'd like to show off your work, that's fine. Um, I don't have a lot of rules for it basically uh, other than if I'm going to be making um, templates available some templates available for absolutely free um, some of the ones that take more time like the wedding magazine and and uh, other projects that I'm going to be making the oversized CD cases and things like that um, uh, there's a possibility I might charge just a, a little bit I'm not going to get crazy with prices but um, you could check it out and, and see what you see if you're interested but I'm going to have um, some templates available for free I, I actually like to share so uh, I will be given more information on that in a future video once I have it all set up and have the templates in there available for you to um, download and use on in Microsoft picture it okay let's get started so I'm going to go ahead and just as you can see after I uploaded this into Microsoft picture it I just cut out the label and then I use that label to take out all of the parts that all the information that will need to be on the uh, sanitizer or the gum and then I personalize it by changing the background to um, whatever the party theme is so in this case I have 
uh, Italian party coming up for an older gentleman who's going to be turning 60, 60. And so everything is uh, in the Italian theme. And so I'm going to show you how I'm going to personalize this for his party, all of these three items. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this now. And then I'll just personalize these for the Italian theme party. So I'm going to start with the sanitizer. I'm just going to move it. As you can see, this happens from time to time. You'll see that it's kind of frozen, so I can't move anything. All you have to do is go and open any app. I'm sorry, any function. Don't do anything. Close that function back, and you see that all of a sudden everything is available to you again. So I'm just going to move it over to this side. And I'm going to first choose the background, which right now is a beach background. But I'm going to, I want to add this Italian flag to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Well, I can keep it up here. I'll just make it small so that you'll see what we're doing. And then I'm going to click on the background. I'm going to go to cut out and picture fill color, fill cutout or picture, and then I'm going to choose the apple, and you'll see this function in a lot of things that um, I design. And all I did was go down here to this bottom tray. I'll take that back because I was talking instead of showing you what I was doing. Um, once I click on the picture, then I go down here to the tray. Make sure you already have the picture open that you want to use. And I had opened the flag, and it's on a full 8.5 by 11 uh, size background like this one is. And all I'm going to do is pull it up and drop it on my sanitizer label. Then, because I want more of the green and the white, I want it to be pretty even, I'm going to go ahead and just pull in the sides. I can pull them in and make them all even, or I can leave more white in the middle. I think I like it more even. So I'm going to put it just like that. I'm going to make sure that I have my full uh, label covered, so I'm going to pull it up a little on the top and bottom. Now, I often tell you, don't ever resize by the sides um, only resize by the edge. In this case, the, this is one of the exceptions to that rule because these proportions will work even if it's squished or if it's pulled out wide. These proportions will still work. When you're doing, when you're working with uh, pictures, um, characters that you're putting on. It always pull from just the corners so that you keep the exact proportions because things look really odd when they're taken when they're out of proportion but since this is a flag it doesn't really matter it will look right regardless how much I stretch it okay so I'm going to go ahead and hit next and done and you see how easy it'll be to change the templates that I will be uploading to my new channel um, all you'll basically have to do is go in and change the backgrounds and also I'll have it where if you want to put other information like here all you'd have to do is open this and add your own information so the templates will will be um, they probably won't be blank I might leave them with uh, you know what I have on them at the time or if you prefer, if you prefer blank ones feel free to let me know it's easy to do but um, I sometimes I like leaving it set up like I had it so that you'll know exactly where to put what to put where so now um, I could leave this just like this and I think I will leave this one like this but if I wanted to I could go in and change any of these colors um, if I wanted to change this to red I could or change any of these colors to a different um, I'm going to cancel this because I don't want it to change the color I like it like that actually so that one's already ready to go next I will ungroup this one and I'll click on the beach background once again I'm going to use my flag 
which is down here in the tray. So I'm going to go to cut out a picture, uh, fill cut out or picture, click on the apple, and then I'm just going to drag the flag up once again. I'm going to bring it in and I can move it over some. This one, of course, is not going to be exactly even because it's an odd shape, but I can at least adjust it where enough of the red and white and green is on. Now for this one, if I wanted to, if I didn't want to leave the blue, which um, I think I will, but if I didn't want to leave the blue, I could easily, because I have these also separate, and you could go in and change these to any color you wanted. So when the template's on the page, it will be available in this format where you can go in and change anything, any of the colors that you want um, to change it to. But actually the blue, I think, works with works with this. Now for this one, the um, I don't th on this one, I don't think I have the winter fresh saved out but all you have to do is go onto Microsoft not Microsoft onto the internet and you can look up the logo for the winter fresh gum and I'll show you um, how I pull it out to add it to this picture so I literally just went to the internet and typed in winter fresh gum logo and I got this older fashion old fashioned one or the the older version I guess I'll say and this is the newer version so I think I'm gonna stick with the newer version which is what I use for the for this label and I'm just going to cut this out so I'm gonna go ahead and just shrink this other one back behind it so I won't be distracted and I'm going to uh, cut out this portion of it so first I'm gonna just click click on cut out in picture cut out of picture by color selection and for starters I'm gonna leave it in two and see how it comes out and looks like that's looking good so I'm just gonna click in every white area I'm not gonna bother with this portion for now I'm gonna go ahead and hit next I'm going to take the check mark out if this is the first time um, that you have opened the program and you're using it that day and you haven't taken this check mark out if you don't remove the check mark it's going to put this on a totally different page and I don't want it on a totally different page I want to keep it on this page because I want to get the different layers so that they'll all be lined up perfectly so I'm going to take the check mark out of there I'll only have to do that once at the beginning you know the first time while you're using the software that day but if you close down the application and reopen it then you'll have to make sure that you take that check mark out if you're not trying to cut out a picture and put it on a different page so I'm gonna go ahead and hit done here and now I'm gonna go back into that same function cut out in picture cut out of picture by color selection this time I'm gonna go to the blue edge now it's okay if I pick up the gray edge um, because I might just make that all one color anyway and since it all came out together I'm just going to leave it that way and I will just make it a different color all together so I'm going to go ahead and hit next and I left it on two again I'm going to go ahead and hit next and done so now if I want to keep this little mountain scene I could do that uh, but I just want the Winterfresh name and then I want the Wrigley name so I'm gonna go to cut out in picture cut out of picture by color selection and for this one since this since there's only this red on the whole page I'm gonna click here that says all similar areas and this will take out all the red at one time instead of me having to click on each letter like I did here and I'm going to take this up to three and I might have to change that but I'm going to try it on three at, because I wanted to get all the shades of the little reddish pink edges so that I can use it on my little gum wrapper here so I should be able to click once or twice and pick up all of the red so if you if it looks like it didn't pick up a certain area just go back and draw just a little line and that should pick up all of it so now I was 
for some reason um when you when you when I click on to uh pull a color out of uh out of a background if you drag a little bit it usually drags a little of the color if you make a longer drag it will drag out more color and you will learn how to balance this out sometimes it will make it will pull out too much or or add in some shades that you weren't trying to get and if that happens just hit the undo arrow and it will backtrack you from the last um the last action that you did while you're pulling out the color and then you can finish uh just clicking in the areas that you actually want so <clears throat> excuse me so you don't have to close it out and cancel it if you get the wrong colors you can just hit the undo last action and then if um if you find that that uh you didn't get enough like you go you once you click on next it'll show you what you have chosen and if you're happy with that go ahead and hit next again if did if you didn't get all of that area you just click on um remove an area from cutout if you accidentally hit a, just a small spot or you can add an area to the cutout so you have those two choices that you can use to uh, fix any mistakes that you might make when you're drawing out the colors from a background so now I'm gonna go ahead and hit next and done and then I'm gonna get rid of the mountain behind and I'll get rid of this one too because I can always go and find them again if I want them. So now I have the Wrigley's label and the Winter Fresh. So I'm going to go back here to my page. And I'm going to first, I'm going to bring up Winter Fresh. Let me group those together. So I just went back to the page. I'm going to group those together. Hit the puzzle piece. And that way I will bring them both up at one time without uh, making them pull apart and it might be harder to re realign them. So I'm going to go back to my main page. <clears throat> I'm going to pull up Winter Fresh just by dragging it up from the bottom and dropping it in the screen. I'm going to shrink it down and I'm just going to line it up on top of the one that's already here and that's just so I know I have it in the right place now I'm going to go down here once again not to that one to this and I'm going to drag up Wrigley's now this Wrigley's is different from the one that I have here but it, it doesn't matter to me if uh, you want it to be the exact one you would just look through more of the logos until you find the one that's straight across but I'm just gonna cut this one out because I see I have a little scrap of blue looks like in here so I'm just going to go to cut out and picture cut out of picture by cookie cutter shape and then I'm just gonna cut the Wrigley out just like this hit next and done I guess I should pull that up a little bit so you can see that at the bottom there we go all right so now I'm just gonna pull that Wrigley up I'm gonna get rid of this one that has this big box around it and I'm gonna shrink it down and change the color well I can change the color after I'll just shrink it down for now and put it about in the area that one was and now I'm gonna change the color of this background so I'm going to go to cut out and picture fill cut out or picture and then click on the apple I'm going to drag the flag up into this one and actually I like that just like it is so I'm going to go ahead and hit done and I think I'm going to make this Wrigley a little bigger and pull it over a bit and remember uh, this is going to have was it a, I think it was a quarter a quarter inch uh, we're gonna score it a quarter inch on both sides oh yeah I'm gonna need to shrink this down because I remember what this was the off of the original one and what happened was I made my name too wide 
and I need you need to have a quarter inch to fold on each side so I'm just going to shrink this down some and if your lettering gets too small sometimes because you have to shrink it down you can resize it by dragging it down a little bit and it will make it more uh, visible even though even though you had to shrink it down kind of squish it in but just making it a little taller makes it more visible when you finally make your um, item so now I'm going to change these edges and I can just change them to solid colors I can change them both to the same solid color by going to paint paint and color effects fill with the solid color which is the you'll see a red star and underneath it'll say fill with the solid color in your menu once you click on paint and color effects and now I'm just going to choose a color from my flag background and just hit next and done I'm gonna most likely change my writing to white so I just click on it go to paint and color effects fill with a uh, solid color and then I'm just gonna click anywhere in this white area to change the writing to white I'm gonna do the same thing on this and go once again to paint and color effect I'm gonna choose this red and then I'm going to change my writing once again by clicking on it going to paint and color effects change color and then I'm just clicking anywhere to make it white I'm going to click on one bar and then hold the CTRL click on the second bar this way I can change the color of these both at the same time if not you can change them one at a time it, it, it's still okay and I can um, I'm gonna go ahead and change those to green well, let's see how they look white that's not really white it's kind of like I think I'll go with green so I'm gonna go ahead and make the sides green <laughs> right now you're not seeing uh, the differentiation between this and the sides that, that well because of this portion of green but once it's folded it will look just fine so now I have all of my items colored I think I like this brighter red so I'm gonna change both of these to the brighter red by clicking on doing the control um, clicking on one and then hitting the CTRL control key so that I can choose both of them and then I'm gonna choose the brighter portion of the red yeah I like that better okay looks a little Christmassy right now but that's okay I love Christmas anyway okay so now I'm just going to let me go to open up I'll just use this coin so I'm going to open the coin I, I want to know which one is uh, which one is is in picture it format so I'm going to go ahead those were the other items that I'm making for this party that uh, you could see in the background okay so is the coin by itself yeah all right so I'm going to go down back down to my gum wrapper switch two, and then I'm going to bring up my gum wrapper and hopefully ah oh heck okay so I'm gonna have to cut it out I thought this was the one that was in um, picture format and then all I would have to do is drag it up and it wouldn't have this white border but this one has been saved to JPEG so all I'm doing is oh let me tell you let me show you it's been a while since I made these videos so I'm forgetting to show all my steps so I'm just gonna backtrack here a little bit so I brought this in and I want to get this white border off because all I want is the coin inside that says what the event is about so I'm gonna go to cut out in picture cut out of picture with the cookie cutter shape I'm gonna choose the circle and then all I'm going to do is drag in from any corner because I want to keep this as a circle if I drug in from any of the sides it would flatten out and make it into an oval so because I want to keep it in the shape of a circle I'm going to just drag from one of the corners until I have that coin outlined and now I'm going to hit next looks pretty good done this is going to be so small that there are um, there uh, you can have a bit of a margin for error and you'll still be looking good so now I have just the coin and I'm going to shrink that down and I'm going to put it 
next to the winter fresh just just as a way of still personalizing it to the actual event I can move it over a little bit because um, I just had to leave enough space to make the folds at the end of my gum wrapper and I can even shrink these down a little bit which I think I'll do and then I can move it a little bit over as long as I'm leaving the space for the fold on the sides so I'm going to ungroup this because the background on this white is still on the winter fresh behind the winter fresh is still blue and gray so I'm going to go to my edge over here and I'm going to choose the dark part of the winter fresh and I'm going to change that to some color let's see what color I want to make it um, maybe green let's try green since yeah we'll go with green so that it will stand out and then I always like to put my shadows on there so I'm going to group those together and I'm going to still drop a shadow just to make it look a little I think I'll make it look a little better I'm going to shrink this down a little bit because I don't want it folding over the sides I just want it on the top very top of my gum wrapper I think I need to pull it up a little bit here alright so now I have all of my labels made for uh, Mike's party and now all I need to do is take save this as a JPEG by going to file save as I'm going to go to the desktop I think it's where or is it in my pictures I think it's in my pictures folder that I have uh, the maybe it wasn't yeah I guess it was on the desktop let's try that one again because I'm trying to save everything to the folder for Mike so that I can uh, yeah there it is Mike's birthday so that I can uh, know exactly where to find everything so I'm gonna save as a JPEG I'm going to change this to I can just make this uh, I'll just say labels because I don't think I have a labels uh, no I don't so I'm going to go ahead I change this from where it said pictured format which is the first choice drag it down until you get to JPEG file interchange format and then I'm going to hit save I have it in the folder for Mike and I'll show you some of the other things that I'm making for this party um, I made these are going to be well I can just pull up the main page with everything on it these uh, these are going to be the candy bags uh, I've already made the matchbook style uh, lifesaver wraps these are going to be the custom treat bag that I'm making and they're going to be small ones because this is going to be a this isn't going to be a it looks like a chip bag but it's basically a scaled down chip bag um, so that it's small and I just put a few candies in it and it looks really really cute and then um, the rest of the items that I will be making for the, the party also I'm making the table decorations and I'm going to be showing you those because um, it shows you how to make props um, so I'll be showing you how I made the props for this party as well so now all I have to do is open this up in Cricut use the measurements that I have for each one and once I make I usually put four of these on one page in Cricut because it doesn't print to the full page so um, it only prints to 9 by 2 9.225 by 6.75 so I, I can get four of these on each sheet in the size that I need and I can't remember how many I did with this one but um, I will 
give you all the measurements when I get ready to put these onto the items, the sanitizer, the gum, and the uh, winter fresh. Okay, so now I'm in Cricut. I'm going to upload my pictures into Cricut by clicking on Upload. And as you can see, these are the things I've already made. I made the microphone stands and the, the gift bags. Um, so I'm going to click Upload to upload what we just finished designing or changing the theme on. I'm going to go to Desktop where I had it saved, Mike's birthday, and then I'm just going to bring in that page that had all three of the items on it. I'm, I always use complex because I want it to be the absolute best or look the absolute best that it can. I'm going to click continue. Next I'm going to zoom out. If I can find the zoom out area. I think it's up there somewhere. Oh, it automatically did it anyway. And as you can see, you see I have a, a little gray edge around everything because if you don't, when it when you click for it to pull out the white like I just did it would pull out part of this as well and sometimes even if you adjust it in advanced options it will still pull out the white that you didn't want it to take so I always put in picture it I always put a light shadow just around the edge and you'll see that in plenty of the other videos if uh, if you don't know how to do that already all right, I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. It's going to show my three items. I'm going to call it I'm going to call it party items just for now. Mike's party items. I'll say Mike's party one. And then I'm going to save for a print and cut. This you would choose save as a cut image if you um I'll show you what I did for the um, centerpieces and for that I just print out a solid sheet that looked like it was metallic and then I just cut circles out of it um, and I used just a cut for that uh, project and I'll show you those after I finish making these so I'm going to go ahead and save that as Mike's party one and I click to save the print and cut side and I'm going to be printing these on photo paper, color photo paper, um, because it now Cricut can pr uh, cut it without having errors. It cuts perfectly on uh, color paper now. And I'm going to click on this, I mean photo paper. I'm going to click on uh, the uploaded images that I just finished uploading. And then I'm going to click here where it says insert images. And now it will bring it inside of my design space. And I'm just going to zoom out so I can see everything. And now I will be resizing these to the correct sizes. And let me see, I have a ruler here for one with that. And all I'm going to do for this label. For I'm doing the tic tac label as you could probably hear in the background and I'm just gonna measure the width of it because all I need is the width of it in order to make it the same size that I need for the actual item and I'm using a ruler that is hard to see on but that looks like an inch and seven eighths so now I'm just going to resize each of these to the correct size but before I do that I need to cut them apart so I'm going to go to shape I'm going to choose a square I'm going to unlock the square by clicking on the lock and then I'm just going to drag it across now I want to join this square to this rectangle rather to this square so all I'm going to do is go anywhere out to the side and just drag over that square 
the rectangle as well as the square. Now that I've done that, I get these actions below. And the action I want to use is slice. So I'm going to click slice. And it's going to, you'll see when I click and start deleting the black, it has now separated my uh, gum wrapper out. Now I need to do the same thing for the, this one. And once I do one of these, the other one will automatically be done. So I'm just going to make another shape square I'm going to unlock it and I'm just going to make sure that it's covering up the whole item that I want to cut apart so now that's covering the whole item I'm going to do the same thing go out to the side slide over until I include both of them the this rectangle and this one and now I'm going to go back here once again to slice I'm going to click to remove the black areas and now I have my three items separated and all I need to do now is change the sizes here in width and in height so now I need to resize these so they will be the size of the items the labels for the items that I need them for the hand sanitizer from top to bottom is two inches so I'm going to go here to the top to edit to um, height and I'm going to change that to two and it will automatically have the correct width which is 1.75 for the gum wrapper the measurement from here to the widest portion of the label is this section right here going out to the hump and from this side to the hump is one and a half inches so I'm going to go up to width this time because it's going across and this is going to be 1.5 inches next for the gum I measured the gum and it's I'm just using this portion to resize it and this portion along alone is 0.875 so I'm going to make a shape I'm going to have the square I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to change the height to 0.875 So this portion of the wintergreen label needs to be as wide as this black strip. So I'm just going to resize this down until it is the same width as that shape. Since I didn't want to rip the cover off of the, off of the gum, I could have done that. But it's just as easy to do it this way. It just takes a few resizes to get it to I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just takes a few resizes to get it to the size I need it to be Let's see that that's probably about right now a little more so I'll just zoom or slide this arrow in a little more and that's gonna be perfect so let me sit it to the side make sure that it's lined up with that red so yeah that's good so now I can get rid of this and now all of my items are the right size but if I was making if I was making right now I'm only gonna make one of each just to show you how it's done but if I needed to make five of each of these all I need to do is run just go out to either side drag all the way across all three of them go up here to edit hit copy and then all I needed to all I would need to do is paste that four times now when you're ready to make it they're still separate all I did was group them all together for that for that moment but I didn't attach them if I wanted to attach them then 
you would click on attach down here at the bottom it says weld if I wanted them all to be together you could use weld you could use attach or you can use flatten to make it into a cut only so now I have five of everything and it doesn't matter how you space them out on this page because when you click on make it it's going to put it together in a format that will maximize the space on each of your eight and a half by eleven sheets of paper so now I'm just going to go up here to the top right corner click on make it and then I'll show you how it's going to look so it's showing here that I would need to make three sheets but since I'm only going to be making one of each but it'll sh you see how it sets it up to make the best use of each sheet of your paper so I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because I want to go back and just make one of each so I'm going to just delete all the extras okay, I took too many of them and I'm just going to group them and delete I do want to keep this one separate I'm going to keep that one so all of these can go and now I just have the three and I will print these out I'll cut them out on the Cricut and then we will assemble them okay now we have all of the pieces cut out and I'm going to use my Xyron creative station to make stickers so I'm just going to pull up open the front pull up the little handle on the side and I'm going to stick these in face up now if you watch the video when I was making the easy custom plates I put those pictures in to go underneath the plate for so that um, they would stick to the bottom of the plate but this is the exact opposite you want to put these face up and make these like regular stickers so I'm just gonna cut that off put my creative station out of the way So now I just peel off this top plastic cover. And I'm going to start with the Tic Tac gum. I'm just going to rip that off the page. And I need to turn this so that the flap, it'll be flap side because I'm lining it up with this bump. So I'm gonna just sit that right in the middle. And smash it down. And then I'm going to take it down each side. Just like that. So we have our Tic Tacs made, front and back. So that right there. Next, I'll do the hand sanitizer. Just gonna peel it off the page. I'm gonna eyeball the label. And then just flatten it down. And I printed all of these on photo paper so that they would um, stick well. And last but not least, I'm using extra gum because I thought I had winter fresh, but I didn't. So I'm just going to lay this down and I need to get my gum right in the middle of the paper. Hopefully I'm getting it perfectly. Usually I pre-score it, but I forgot. So I'm just going to try to wing it and I'm going to just fold it up on the side so it could stick to the side. I'm going to do the other side and now I'm going to bring down 
the part with my phone number. Bring down the other side that has my label on it. And then on the bottom, you just fold it in just like that on both sides. You see how I folded that? I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. For these, for the gums, I usually just use hot glue, which is what I'm going to use to finish this corner off just to make sure it sticks and have my glue gun already hot and I just put a dot there and then just fold it down and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side I'll fold the first one in and I'm just gonna oops <laughs> thank goodness I just get these table covers at the 99 cent store and then I'm going to do the same thing with this one fold it in Trying to get the glue off my fingers. Need to put a little more glue on this side. It's trying to come up a little. There we go. So usually I'll pre-score these so that it fits perfectly. I didn't this time because I wanted to go ahead and finish up the video. But now you have your three items. And then on the back you have your information for your party supply. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see my videos the minute I put them up, just hit the bell and you'll be notified as soon as I have a new upload. Thank you once again for stopping by Harriet's Custom Computer Art Plus. We are working on templates today. I'll see you next time. I just want to give you a quick review on how to pull out the different layers of the logos or labels that you would like to uh, customize. I have a full video tutorial on how to make logo masters so that you can separate everything out and customize them any way you want and use them over and over again on your party supplies. So check that out. Look for that in my full video list. But I'm just going to give you a quick refresher here. I'm going to go to cut out in picture, cut out of picture by color selection. It's already on two. I'm going to keep it there. And now I just want to pull out all the blue at one time. So I'm going to click on all similar areas. And I'm going to click just in the middle of the blue. And as you can see, it pulled out all of the dark blue by itself. So I'm going to hit next. I'm going to take this arrow out so to stay on the same page and hit done. Next, I'm going to go to cut out in picture, cut out of picture by color selection. This is the only function we're going to be using in this one. And this time I want to pull out the white. So I'm going to leave it on two. I'm going to click in the white area and click just in that little opening. The reason why I didn't say all areas for this one is because I have this area that I might want to change separately from that. Um, I could also uh, click up in this area, but usually once I get this logo, I just shrink it down and make a copy of it and put it here. And now I have my two layers here. I have the tic tac and the gum. This portion, I just retyped it because sometimes it's hard to pull out the really small lettering. So all I did was made this portion on my own by going to text, add text. I changed my font. I think I used Arial, Arial Round here, possibly. So I'm going to scroll down 
and hit Arial Round. And then I just typed the lettering the same way it looked on the actual uh, container. And it was all small. So I'll just do Spearmint. Shunk it down. Put it in place. Looks like I used. Uh, oh, yeah, this is the font. Just put that in place there and then do the same with the 48 pieces. And I only do this if it's too small of an area for me to pull out with the um, other function with the cutout by color function. Put that there. Another text box, add a text box, and I'm going to type pieces, and this one was all in caps, so I make it all in caps. I'm going to shrink it down by going from the corner this time, and then I'll smash it or by pulling from the side. Okay, so now I have all the layers separated out that I need to make my label to customize it.